what is going on y'all it's your boy jeremy back with another video as y'all can see i'm about to take an exam well not right now but i am studying right now to take the exam within the next probably like two hours or so we're gonna just hope for the best um i'll catch y'all after the exam um we got a plan to hunt for some nike techs so i've been seeing a lot of people finding nike techs and a lot of uh, older Nike, J Balvin stuff, and a bunch of like other um, Jordans and all that kind of stuff at like TJ Maxx, Ross, Burlington, all those kinds of stores. So we're going to hunt for some of those today. And I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about this new camera I got. Man, here's the old camera. Let me go ahead and show y'all. It is a Canon T5i. Um, I've had this camera for, I can't remember how many years, maybe like three or so, two or three, maybe around there. Actually, it might have been longer than that. It might have been around four, around four years. But, you know, it served me well. It's done its purpose. But I think I decided it was time for me to move to mirrorless. And I am loving it so far. This is my first day with the camera. I just bought it yesterday. Um, was just fiddling around with it a little bit yesterday. Um, I haven't re really completely figured out all of the settings yet. Um, but hopefully y'all can notice that the quality is 10 times better on here. Um, I feel like just the overall image quality is better. The megapixels in the sensor are higher. Um, that one was an 18. This is a 24. I'm going to be selling the old one. So if you guys are interested, let me know, uh, down below, you know, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I haven't really decided when I'm going to sell it or what price I'm going to sell it at yet, but you know, um, just follow me to stay updated. Your boy made it to the other side of the exam. It is now, I think, 12, almost 1. 12, 15, actually. So it's not really that close to 1. But I got a 45 out of 50 on my exam. Something light, something light, you know. Feeling good now. So we can go ahead and start getting the day started and everything. We can go and uh, start hunting for the Nike Tech and then, you know, see where the day takes us from there. All right, so your boy's dressed and basically ready. Uh, nothing too crazy, just a simple fit, just cause it's super hot outside, one, I don't wanna do too much, and two, I'm going out later today, so that's when the fit's really gonna get crazy. I just wanted to show y'all a couple of like the recent pickups that I've had in the past couple of days, cause y'all, you guys know this is, you know, shoes and fashion first and foremost. Gotta make sure I, you know, fulfill the audience as well. I'm just gonna go from bottom to top, talk about each one a little briefly. So, um, size eight and a half, Y'all will probably be able to tell what shoe it is by the box. The Jordan 1 Wash Black, size eight and a half. Um, brand new, bought these for like uh, 140, I think. The guy just never wore them, so I'm gonna flip these probably for like 175, 180. A little bit under retail because they're not going for too much, um, but you know, just enough for me to make a nice little profit off of it. Next pair is also a size eight and a half. I think all of these might be an eight and a half. Jordan 1 Stage Haze, there it is. Um, I have this pair in my personal collection. I love it. Um, they definitely my daily beaters just because they go with everything. You see the gray, white, and black. It's just simple. It goes with everything. Uh, my pair didn't come with the extra laces because I bought them used. So I might take these. I might take these pink ones because the pink ones are fire. I'm not going to lie. I think I bought them for like 200 uh, I think they're going around 250 right now. So I'll probably try to sell them for like 230 240 Jordan 5 Concord. Also a size eight and a half. These are brand new, um, close enough to brand new. You can see like the there's no creasing and stuff on the toe box. Um, you know the bottoms are extremely clean, um, but you can see they were tried on from the insole. You can see the little sticker is a little faded, um, and then there's like a small little scuff right here. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can clean these up and make them look brand new. I mean they're basically brand new. He just tried them on. I bought them for a hundred bucks. I'm, hoping to try to sell them for like 150 160 um i know this colorway isn't really that popular but we'll see what happens then the last pair i had this pair sent out to me um by a company i will leave their i'm not really sure how to pronounce it so i'll leave their um, information and stuff in the description cactus plant flea market joints um these are super fire i have the white pair um that i just bought i don't remember if I, I did, yeah, I did put them in uh, one of my recent videos. This is the black pair, uh, super fire shoe. Um, it's got the uh, air on this side and then flea on the other side. Um, this was a Nike ID by you collaboration with Cactus Plant Flea Market. So um, 
really cool shoe, uh, very unique design and very unique story. Um, a lot of people ended up getting the same stuff, whether it was Air Sunshine or Air Flea. I think those were like the only two options and then you could change like uh, the lining color or whether it was like, you know, red, blue, um, white and black, I think were the only colors that they had. Um, but really cool shoe nonetheless. Uh, I'm excited to wear those, the black pair and the white pair. I've already worn the white pair a couple times. So um, yeah, cool shoes. Um, that's it, we're gonna go ahead and get to the car. Y'all check out my new mirror, some light. Um, I got it from Walmart, it was like too expensive, like 50 bucks, 40, 50. Um, but it's fine, it's, you know, it works. All right, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't really have a game plan for how I'm gonna tackle this because there's so many different spots in Houston and the traffic is so bad everywhere. So I'm just gonna go to the TJ Maxx that I know is close and then I'll just figure it out from there. remembered why I hate shopping on Saturdays or weekends in general it's just so much busier I love shopping during the week especially because I don't have classes certain days like this is the weekend I got nothing else to do I might as well just go in there let's go this is why that's kind of fire low key Sweatpants. Yeah. Oh, low key. Oh, some, some Nike sweatpants. Low key. Yeah. How much are these? For twenty five dollars, it's not a bad deal. If it was a cooler pattern, I probably would take these. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I like the speckles. These are tough. Check that out. That is fire. That's real fire. Forty dollars for it. I don't see nothing in here. I think this store is a bust. I mean, those pants were cool, but. Um, yeah. So, we in Marshalls right now. This is their entire men's selection of shoes. Kind of mid, per usual, but I mean, can't say I didn't expect it. Low key, this might be a good deal. 550. This is kind of flea, not gonna lie. For 19 dollars Easy gap. Boy, they got a helmet lane in TJ Maxx. I mean, in Marshalls. Look at it. Helmet lane. Where's this price tag at? I'm trying to see. Oh, I'm already knowing. 99 That's crazy. Pretty good deal, though. Like, you know, compared to some of the retail I've seen on some of this stuff but well that was a bust at least there was two stores back to back I got to go to Marshall's and TJ Maxx um, checking out right now what is gonna be the closest what I really want to go to is a Burlington for sure because I've seen a lot of people finding good stuff at Burlington so I'm probably gonna check what is the closest one to here and then we'll figure it out um, and head that way oh this one about five miles it's probably like 10 minutes oh no in Houston, five miles is 20 minutes. <sighs> okay. I'm probably either gonna go there or to this other spot that I know has a Ross and a Burlington. Um, I'll see how far that is and then we'll see where we'll see where we end up. Check this fucking tunnel out, bro. Man, it looks so fire. I never drove it over here before. If there was nobody in front of me, I would floor it. I would floor it through this tunnel, man. Oh, I might have to come back this way. Your boy made a lucky guess. We got a Burlington, a TJ Maxx, and a Ross, all three next to each other. So let's go ahead and get inside. joints man Giannis for 50 bucks if you're a hooper you can come to Burlington and get some, some heat for cheap all right y'all 
Does this look like a medium to y'all? This looks kind of small. It's $25. So, 35 bucks. Nike. It's kind of fly. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of this on top of this. It just looks like it's too much color. But if it was a different color, I'd definitely buy it. This out, too. It's a little, a little basketball Nike thing. Embroidered in the middle, too. I didn't realize. That's kind of fire. And for 25 you can't go wrong. Personally, not my style. But I think it's cool. Sweatpants, boys. What size are these? Let's see. Price, 55. Hey man, for twenty-five dollars. Yo, another one for twenty-one. Dog, I really hit the gold mine here, man. Another pair. Twenty-five dollars. Oh yes, medium black sweatpants. Twenty-four. I like these too. Nice. Your boy's in the fitting room. Just had to make sure the small was gonna fit. It looks like, looks like it should be good. What y'all think? Hello. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Ladies and gents, we are back. We didn't find Nike Techs, unfortunately. I'm sure I probably could if I went to a lot of different places, you know, and planned out my routes and you know did all my due diligence. They're they're out there. I know they're out there, but. I, I got tired. I'm, I I want to take a nap. So, you know, this is where we had to end off. I did get some black Nike sweats though for 25 bucks, and these are going for 55 in the Nike store and on the app. So, um, all in all, a good deal. Half off. Can't complain. I needed a new pair of black sweats anyways because mine are fading and there's a hole starting on them. So, definitely needed those. And then I found this uh, mocha pair, which is super dope. Um, same kind of same kind of deal, same graphic. It's a size small, but I think it fits fine. Um, also, twenty five bucks, so I cannot complain. Fifty five dollars in total for both of these, when one of them costs fifty five dollars in the store. I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, unfortunately, you know we didn't find text, but that's fine. Um, I was so close to just giving up after the second TJ Maxx, but we persevered and we at least found something. I'm real tired, as you guys can tell. I'm going to take a nap, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.